in terms of in relation to my personal life, I feel a little more fulfilled that at least I've been impacting on the pupils like I've always wanted to, to be because I'm a son of a teacher and I've always had a passion for teaching. In relation to the pupils, it was a very fantastic experience for me. You for e should be able to improve on their motivation for volunteers in terms of sending thank you messages, finding out the experience in classroom. Also in terms of reporting, most of the time you send emails and emails is very difficult to respond to emails when you are bogged down with a lot of work in your hand. So a phone call after every class for a minute or two, you get the right feedback fresh from, from the volunteer that will help you in terms of your improving your processes. So it's the best time to get the feedback. We've had instances where we've prepared um, volunteers using a certain set of um, materials and they get into the classroom and the classroom has another. Because they have a basic understanding of what a proper lesson should be, they're able to flow with whichever manner. So basically the volunteers are well prepared such that irrespective of what is available in the classroom, they're able to deliver effective lessons. A specific case was one Ufoma girl who understood nothing about mathematics. She didn't understand why mathematics was important. She was a very good artist. She could draw, was to check her book. Every time you're talking in class, she's drawing. And I started to bring her into the class to make her enjoy mathematics. I started to relate art to mathematics. And I start, as I started doing that, she started taking interest and she started improving. So what I try to do, I try to make my class an individualized learning program. Instead of trying to do a group learning and some people fall off the way. And so for me, I started seeing improvement and that was and that was the experience for me. It's only when you're in the class talking to the people do you really know what kind of CSR you really need to perform. So that gives you a first-hand information of the real problems. There I saw problems in terms of teaching aid. Most of the, most of the materials for the students are not broken down to how the students can understand it. So you need to develop materials that the students at that level, based on their background, can understand. Like for me, I developed my own teaching aid and just a sheet of paper, I, was, I used it to teach several lessons, ratios, percentages, fraction, using just one sheet. And, but they had textbooks, but they, they cannot understand those textbooks. So it allows you to see where you really should put your CSR money as, a, as an organization. <laughs>